An electro-pop duo is keeping things fresh and funky with their eclectic sound and stunning videos. Sylvan Esso formed more than a decade ago when two like-minded musicians first fell in love with each other's beats and then with each other. Now five albums worldwide tours and a new Spotify session later, the pair is better than ever. Our Phil Lipoff sits down with Nick and Amelia of Sylvan Esso in tonight's Prime Playlist. Together, Amelia Meath and Nick Sanborn are Sylvan Esso, an electric pop band touring the world, playing for a hardcore, dedicated fan base. The pair's music as unique and cohesive as their relationship. I definitely knew right away that this was a person I was going to know until I was dead. Oh, yeah, he did. He said that we were going to be friends forever. Forever began in 2012. At the time, both were in other bands. Amelia had written a song called Play It Right. She asked Nick to remix it. It was good. I can't wait till we get to something where she says it was great. <laughs> because, because everything she said so far that was good, it's I nice think was to great. manage this expectations. Is, this is who I am. Right. Funny and self deprecating. Oh, look, will it fix me? No. A trademark of their relationship and their music. Look no further than their name. I was playing a video game at the time called um, Swords and Sorcery. And in it, you can do a magical spell where you hold your little sword above your head and sing a song. And then these beautiful little creatures called Sylvan Sprites come and visit you. And so Sylvan was in my orbit. Amelia sent me that name, and we were immediately kind of like, well, that's, that's it. It's one of those, when you, when you hear it, there's, you know there's no going back. Sylvan Esso's music, an eclectic mix of folk and electric pop. Hey Mommy off their self-titled release was a hit. So was Coffee. I booked Mountain Man's first tour off of like MySpace by cold calling like art spaces in like Maine and stuff, being like, I have a band, will you let us play, please? It turned kind of into a circus. Yeah, yeah. and we're like move, moving through the country. Grassroots, one fan at a time, playing major festivals all over the world, like Coachella. My baby While working on their sophomore album, appropriately named What Now? That forever friendship turning into love, and in June of 2016, they got married. For us, it just felt like a really natural uh, description of the relationship we already had. The following year, What Now? released to critical acclaim a Grammy nomination for Best Dance Electric Album with hits like Die Young. Momentum building newly married, a big tour plan. And then, everything just stopped in 2020. The pandemic hit. It was pretty sad, to be totally right. honest. Yeah. Um, well, because all of your interactions, I think we tour so much, and we have such a distinct relationship with the people who like what we do. It was a very isolating experience. But now, when we're at shows, the amount of people who come up to us and are like, when you put out that record, like, it carried me through the pandemic. Was there ever a moment where you guys looked at each other and went, I don't know, maybe this will be it? We have a studio in North Carolina that had like just gotten finished right when the pandemic mm -hmm. hit. So like we were it able- kind of oasis. Yeah, we had an oasis. We were able to record. That studio became a communal space shared with friends used to create. Checking out the Sylvanesso's lyrics, as important as their melody, Amelia describes her writing process, specifically using syllables to write a good hook. Can you think of one particular song that, that is a really good example of that? Yeah, um, let's see. Oh, like um, in Ferris Wheel, 
There's a part where I say like when I'm dancing, when I'm slamming in my dancing shoes. When I'm slamming in my dancing shoes, asphalt's hot and my knees are bruised. I wanted to write it in a really fun sounding kind of like a strange little elf skibbling along, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. When I'm slamming in my dancing shoes. Yeah. Like that. It's, yeah. It's very movement based. You're kind of like. Yeah. When the world started to open back up, Sylvanesso headed back out onto the road. A huge 2022 summer tour with Odessa. From that high intensity summer to our meeting at New York City's legendary Electric Lady Studio. Nice world, Sandy. Built by Jimi Hendrix in 1970. So many historic sessions here from Stevie Wonder and David Bowie to more recent projects with Taylor Swift, Lady Gaga, and Tony Bennett. On this day, Sylvan Esso adding its name to that list, recording exclusively for Spotify. That song from the band's 2022 release of their fourth studio album, No Rules Sandy. Sandy is what Amelia calls Nick. No Rules, a reference to how Sylvan Esso is now unconstrained, following no rules when it comes to writing and creating music. And the big tree he grew beneath proof of that the last song on the album coming back to you a big departure from what their electric pop fans have come to know i can't feel it but you have said that you make sad songs that sound happy yeah get up, get up. was that intentional get up or was that what you were writing and that, that's what you were you were bringing back to me? The basis of pop music at its at its core is like songs about the human experience that are um, that are both uplifting but also like feel good in your ear. Very deliberate in their music, in their life together, and in the possibility of what's to come. Music has a magical power where it also applies to everybody else's life in the same way that it applies to your life when you're writing it. There's just inherently a, a vulnerability there. And I think as we get older, the nature of that exchange changes and moves. And so like when we were younger, I, looking back on early writing stuff, it felt way more scary. And now it's like scary in an exciting way. Our thanks to Phil for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.